Joseph Abeko is one hell of a fighter. He really comes to fight. He doesn't mess around. And he's being trained for this fight by, all jokes aside, really, one of the best trainers in boxing, Roger Mayweather. So I'd like to call to the microphone Joseph Abeko and his trainer, Roger Mayweather. It feels good uh, to be back. I think uh, I've been missing in action in America for quite some time now due to a uh, few things. Uh, but I'm so happy I'm back right now. I want to thank God Almighty for I mean, giving me the strength to come back. And I want to thank uh, Top Rank and HBO for giving, giving me the opportunity. I want to thank uh, my manager, uh, Frank Espinoza, for believing in me. Uh, I think uh, it's a great opportunity to fight. I mean, one of the best fighters one uh, out there that's rigging off. I I I always read. I mean, uh, boxing stories on the net, and I love the way uh, the media always. I mean, uh, uh, give rigging off a lot of respect, and I respect him as well. Uh, whenever you're going to fight a boxer who has so much respect and who you know is good in the ring, you know how to prepare for him. Uh, sometimes, you know, you're going into the ring as a champion. I mean, after the fight, you're still the champion. It's feel good to defend your belt. You know, but you always feel, I mean, uh, uh, there's a lot of joy in it whenever you go into the ring as a challenger. And you, you hear that, uh, uh, you hear the ring announcer say, and the new is, is, I mean, a great feeling. And that's the feeling I know I'm going to have uh, come Saturday. Uh, this fight is going to be, I mean, a great fight. It's going to be a tough one, but I know I'm going to, I'm, I'm definitely going to come out as uh, the winner. Uh, Rigendorf is, I mean, one of the good fighters. I've watched him a couple of times. He's very skillful, uh, very good leg movement. You know, you always want to, I mean, get you, but he doesn't want you to get him. Uh, I know he has the skills, and uh, the boxing world also knows he's, he's gotten it. Uh, this is not, I mean, amateur boxing where you, you punch one punch and you don't, you can go, you can get away with it, with it for the whole run. This is professional boxing. You come into the ring to give, uh, I mean, the crowd what they want to see. You know, you get paid for this. So you go in, take a punch and punch, and at the end of the day, the crowd enjoys, enjoys the fight. Uh, uh, I want to challenge Rigendorf on this. I want him to prove to me and to prove to the, bo the whole boxing world that he just is just not a boxer, but he can come in and fight as well. I want Rigidov to come in as a fighter and let's go into the ring come Saturday and let's fight, let's kill each other, let's punch. And then at the end of the day, everybody's going to know that Rigidov has got in the heart as well to, I mean, to come forward as well, but not just to run in the ring. Despite every joke, I respect him. He's a good fighter. And I'm, I'm really going to beat him come Saturday. I know me saying I'm going to beat him will, I mean, surprise some other people over here. But I know myself. I believe in myself. Uh, 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 style makes boxing. And I know my style is going to be ring it off. And I want to thank uh, my trainer over here, uh, uh, Roger Mayweather. It's been, it's been a great experience uh, training at the for Mayweather Boxing Gym. And it's been a great experience working with Roger. Uh, Roger has taught me a lot. Uh, we've gone through a very good uh, training regiment, and I know my body is ready for this. Uh, I'm coming in to punch, and I'm coming in to take. I know Rigidov can punch. He can punch. He's got, I mean, very good hands. He can punch, and I'm ready to take his punches. So I believe he's also ready to take mine. So, Rigo, let's go in for the fight this Saturday, and let's make the fans happy. Thank you. You heard that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can I can say that he very, he prepared well. He prepared well. Uh, he got he's gotten ready, and he now all he got to do is take what he know into the ring with the guy he's facing and do what he's supposed to do. If he do what he's supposed to do, 
then um, we'll get what we want. Whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think that it's going to be, I think it's going to be one hell of a show. I think that uh, uh, it's going to be one hell of a show. I don't think not, not so much that the fact that uh, that I'm I'm parading my guy. I'm not talking about that. The, the point is, I think it's going to be a hell of a show anyway. It's going to be one of them burn burns because uh, I don't think he's going to be. I don't think he's going to be bagging up. I don't think so. I mean, we we don't want that, do we? We want that because uh, he may he, he may have he may give it up. We don't want him to give it up. We want him to fight for it. So hopefully, uh, in the case that. Uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a one hell of a show I think it's going to be one of the better fights one of the better fights uh, on the network so we're looking forward to it and uh, he's prepared he's ready we're all good to go alright thanks <laughs>